All right, so here's what, what I've gotten done so far. So it's got a it's got a regular vent in it's just a fuel tank for a boat. And I've got a silicone. Hey, poppers. Anyway, so I've got all that done. So I'll show you kind of how this works. I'll just put it right back into the tank, but it's on the battery, uh, 12 volts of course, and it's just kind of stuck in here. But you can see it's pouring pretty good. And you've got to let it drain just a little bit once you get done with that. And I've got a couple of projects that I can use this for. Let me put the plug back in the tip. So yeah, you can loosen this up. One thing that I haven't done is put a fuel return in it, but I don't know that I'm going to. Now most fuel systems, like let's say this Volkswagen here, you've got pressure coming from the tank, the fuel pump in the tank, and it comes over and it feeds the whole line itself, or the fuel rail, and then it comes back up through the um, regulator and then that's your return line. Now, if I if I were to just put uh, regular fuel pressure into this line to start the car, then any excess would actually go from this tank into the back fuel tank. So that's the only drawback is that you know you're going to use gas at a higher rate unless I put the fuel return line somehow into here. Maybe cut a small vent hole or something in there and put something in there that I can put a 5 16 line in. So anyway, there's you a uh, portable fuel injection gas tank with a fuel pump in it. Actually, it's got a Mazda fuel pump in it, which is 40 to 60 PSI uh, regulated. So anyway, I'll give you a thumbs up for now. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you like, and we'll see you on the next one.